Revit tutorial in a mixed house development. So in the last episode, we were able to define this staircase. So this we want to continue by putting the roof on this particular building project. So this is the 3D of our workflow. If you have never been seen if this is what we are able to be we are able to create for this particular segment. So this is the 3D of the whole building. So we continue from here now and put all these things in order and get the whole range of acts. So now what we do next is that we are going to start the building, the plan of the roof. So how do we start here? You go to plan level two. You can decide to go to elevation and create more levels so that the roof will have its own space entirely. So elevation here now we click on this and say create similar. So from here you select this and create this one. Put it where this one is aligned. Then you can decide to rename it, call it roof. So level roof, we call it roof. So that's and leave it level. So that place you know yes. So it automatically rename itself. We we'll go back to that roof level. Then you go to underlay. So underlay, you click on this and say level two. So it's something you'll be saying precisely below. So what we do next is that we we'll go to architecture. So from there we select roof, roof by footprint is what we always use and no matter how the complexity of the roof the moment you understand the principle get all these things right then you are going to fulfill your righteousness by selecting the right part so here is what we do by selecting the peak line because i want to use the peak line to select from outside so i don't encourage people to be doing it one after the other because it's a lot, a lot of work to do so we select this by saying offset 600 so that is the if of the i mean yes if of the roof so you click on this then select from all the external the external uh, line of the wall that's where you work your fulfillment from so i'm selecting this one again so i'm going to do this and i'm going to do this I'm going to do this one so i think uh, with this one now uh, you can see the whole idea is in place so i'm going to do this like this i'm going to select this one so what i need next is that i should click and join all of the edges together so that the movement and the beauty and the aesthetic of the of the roof will come out plainly so it's a complex roof but it's a little principle of arrangements you get it done so this is how the roof looks like so from here now you can decide to click finish or do whatever you want to do maybe it's a system adjustment you want to work on so i'm clicking finish here now so do not attach so i'm going to set now i'm going to see the roof plainly i'll go back here and i decide to increase this visibility by going to view range on the footage, I'm going to increase the top level to like 50,000. Then the cut plane again to like 45,000. So I still apply. So the whole space being up to me. So I don't like the way the roof is falling. So the first thing I need to do is to change the falling, the slope, and uh, slope out of the roof. So it's supposed to fall according to the way the slopey part of it is. So this is where you're going to do that. Click here. You see edit type edit duplicate you can duplicate if you want to but i'm not duplicating anything because i just want the roof goal of the project to have that pattern of uh, of alignment so go to graphics from the graphics now you select the surface so you click on surface here and say model is what you are going to use so you click on model you can decide to create your whole by saying create new so at the create new one, now you call it a uh, roof slope. Call it that way. So you change this angle from 45 degrees, make it what 90 degrees faster. And you reduce this one to something like 75, 75 millimeter. So it's okay like with that way. And you can check and see the way it is. You're going to see the a drastic change of all that we're doing here now. Good. Can you see? 
So you see the one that go vertical, the one that go horizontal, the one that go. So these are the pattern in which I want the roof to be defined. So I'm fulfilling this aspect for now. So I'm clicking this. I want the roof to be more taller. Go to the elevation and go and see how the whole things look like. So for me, here, you can just like I don't need this one for now. I can hold this so that I'll be able to extend what you need to extend. So I'm going this. So the roof a little bit shorter for me. So I'm going to increase the height. And it's only the height I want to increase, not by dragging any video. I'll just select the whole thing here and say 45 is what I need so is it tall enough I think every height is there for me so I may not be ideal for project concern because when you do something like this for a client you want to run the money so then you click like that and adjust based on what you have I'm taking this up so now so the roof aspect is consigned and is being developed so you can check it on 3d and see how far the roof looks like so this is the way the roof definitely look for now so but before i go further to develop some of this thing, i want to create the huge gap so you can follow this if you are following this principle from beginning so kindly subscribe to this channel if you have if you find it that is more interested and more fulfilling so on so what we do here is that we're going to create uh, a what's it called the reach cap for every part of this because it's necessary so go to start elevation select your roof and then you click on copy so you click from here and click copy so the copy is being fulfilled oh no take it off because it's cap you are creating you are not creating Choices so cap is what we place here. So you go there and you say okay, go to site plan. I mean, we plan go to underlay. I don't want to see anything in background, so I'm hiding this uh, as well. ID elements so so far the element, then you go to vertical and say select vertical from the architecture vertical here. So you select this view, then you start fulfilling all that just now by selecting that. So first you need to select the middle lines. So those are the things that are more difficult. So you select that and say fulfilling. I want to fit 80 millimeter as a distance from the center point. So you need to have double lines and double lines like that. Remember I said you are doing not the gutter. So don't focus on the gutter side. So all these are not necessary, not all the lines that are rich. We are going to focus on the main top line. And that is how you fulfill the whole system accuracy. So select this and select this, select this, select this. Yep. So you turn this one. Yes, just the external unit. So after you have fulfilled all the ridges, so what else you need to do is to just replace that this thing I'm going to cut off from. So I enjoy you to watch this video with all your time because one of the most difficult things of roof is roof. I mean building is roofing. The moment you get your roof right, no matter how complexity your building is, if you know the principle of arriving at designing a roof you have no issue about building consistency so you can decide to create projects in any form that you feel like so this is one part of them so we are done with this now you click here no you can to set so from our side you pick i think we are through the whole situation except this which is needed now good so after this fulfillment of the rich cap, what I need to do is to trim all the lines so that there won't be any form of intersection of line, line within line, things like that. So go to every part that you know that those lines are, can intersect each other or are not joining way. So you focus your attention on that one and do it very well. So that's what we do here now.
so these are the one of the outside these are the one of the outside the pit. Remember the roof is not the main roof we did. You have to copy the roof after designing it and uh, copy it above so that we'll be able to use it to, to work what we want to work on. So that's why you should follow the principle. If you are missing it, you can decide to go back, you watch it again, study the whole process, and then you get it done. So that's it to do for you. So we have a lot of projects that you have done on this channel that has a lot of roof complexity, different kind of patterns that which we design. You can decide to check, watch all the video and choose the one that's suitable for you so that you'll be able to design whenever your client call upon you, you design as fast as it, no matter how complex it is. Like I said, roof is one of the most beautiful parts of the building design. So if no matter what you do, if you are not if you don't have a good roof. There is no way the building will fulfill the greatness of of aesthetic. So this is what we are able to create for now. So I'm selecting this guy. So let me just say remove this one from so you can imagine. So this is it. You have this iron out from elevation. So select so to fill. So this elevation means a lot for now so that is what we do about the roof the roof has not been completed yet in the next we are going to create the fish here at the same time create whatsoever we want to create within the trusses so you'll be able to understand how the trusses work and all those things so this is the the place where we are able to stop for now and you can imagine that the beauty of the of the house is coming out one after the other so thanks for watching